It's secret. Uh, goodness, Dion. It's secret scrimmage season. That's what I was after there. And uh, we got some results. We got some intel from games that occurred over the weekend. Trilly tweeted a lot of these out. I also tried to do my own digging around to kind of get any sort of intel we could get. Uh, I'll just read through the ones that Trilly provided because I think he did just the best job at collecting and summarizing this in one place. He had Baylor beating Grand Canyon 83-80 to in a secret scrimmage. St. Joe's beating Providence 77-72. Texas Tech 75, Drake 66, American 75, Old Dominion 60. And then no scores tweeted for these, but just kind of the rumor mill. Georgetown beat Maryland, Temple beat Delaware, Mississippi State beat Western Kentucky, Wichita State beat Oklahoma State. The only thing I have dug up on my own that Trilly did not include in his tweet here was that Illinois supposedly beat Butler. I've heard they beat them handily. I've heard the freshmen shined. Uh, Cart and I are going to have our own video breaking down that at length, but we can kind of talk through some of these that are the most notable results. To me, the, the ones that you would circle of like, huh, would be Baylor beating Grand Canyon just by three, Providence losing to St. Joe's, and then Maryland losing to Georgetown. So what jumps out as most notable to you from this bucket? The amount of – well. If I was Georgetown and Maryland, I wouldn't play each other. That's the first thing that like jumped out to me. I'm not doing a secret scrimmage against another Power Five team. Um, that feels that feels like things could get away from you a little bit. I'm only doing secret scrimmages against teams I know I would beat, and then I don't also like. I like what Baylor did. Like we barely beat Grand Canyon. You have no idea who we played, by the way. Like I might have <laughs> played VJ. I might have played like all the walk ons. You know. And that's kind of the way I would do it to keep things a secret. Um, Georgetown and Maryland, like if they play each other, I'm going to go out on the limb and say Georgetown played a lot of their starting five in that game for like quite some time. Rumor mill, their best player leading scorer did not play. Wow. R rumor mill is that Jaden Epps was unavailable for Georgetown. Everybody was available for Maryland. Maryland loses to Jaden Epps-less Georgetown. And that's why I wouldn't play Georgetown if I'm there. <laughs> like to flip that. Like, and that's exactly why I wouldn't do it. And by the way, like since it's a secret scrimmage, if I'm Maryland and you pull out pull up without Jaden Epps, well, all of a sudden my starting five's injured too. Like we sprained some ankles <laughs> on the walk. I'm like, like I'm not doing the thing where you don't get to one up me in terms of secrets. <laughs> like I <laughs> that's yeah secret scrimmages are really about the secrets they're not about the scrimmages that's that's the truth here we could just do secret secrets we don't we don't need to actually play basketball just pull up and tell some secrets yeah no one would top my secrets like oh hunter dickinson's <laughs> hurt cool so is everybody on my team like now you're playing against like five walk-ons i found outside the gym and that's why no one would want a secret scrimmage with me because it wouldn't be serious. <laughs> this is why I love you, man. You're such a good advisor that every, every person, every organization in the country needs to consult you before they do anything here. Um, so, all right, let me just run through what do I think is notable from this? I'm going to begin by saying this. Uh, I am, I, I like to think I'm one of the world's greatest overreactors. Like I, I'll put <laughs> my ability to overreact up there with anybody on the planet, especially in the sports world. Uh, last year, you will remember my Michigan Wolverines, Juwan Howard era. Uh, they, they beat Marquette supposedly. And not only did they beat them, they destroyed them. Now the story that came out of that scrimmage was George Washington, the third. Oh my God. What a stud. Uh, George Washington III went on to not play in Michigan's rotation at all on a team that ended up winning eight games over the course of the season. Marquette ended up being awesome. So I, the story there being, take all of this with a grain of salt. I'm not going to actually overreact to this again, because to your point, all of these games, we have no idea. Did they play 40 minutes? Did they, did they do media timeouts? Did they just run layup lines for an hour and say that if this team scored more layups, then they got a point? Like, There's so many different ways you can structure a scrimmage. We don't actually get box scores. We barely get numbers. So uh, all of that, yeah, ignore whatever you want to ignore from this. Uh, Baylor beating Grand Canyon just by three would scare me a little bit if I'm Baylor, just because I think even if Baylor was resting their dudes – I think this team's deep enough to be really, really good. 
kind of, I, I don't know. I don't know where I sit with Baylor. I had picked them as a Final Four team a lot because I love Valdez, Edgecombe Jr. But the closer we get to the season, I think I'm realizing the less I trust this Baylor program right now. Um, and, and I don't know what to make of that. A three-point win doesn't feel good. Providence losing to St. Joe's is definitely an eyebrow raiser. But also, like, there's not a ton I love on this Providence team. I love Kim English. I just, I don't, I don't know if I'm, like, going to war for this roster. The big one here is definitely what the hell happened with Georgetown and Maryland. Um, I, I would say this. I am buying Georgetown relative to what everybody's expectations for Georgetown are. Especially, like, if they did this without Jay Epps, you know what that means? That means Malik Mack played and was awesome. And I, I think Malik Mack is one of the more underrated portal additions any program had this season. I think the Blue Bloods should have wanted him. Like, I think Malik Mack should be starting at Duke at point guard this season. And instead, he's with Ed Cooley at Georgetown playing next to Jay Naps. He's going to be awesome, though. Like, Malik Mack should be a first-team All-American by the time he's done in college. And if they really did go beat Maryland without Jay Naps, like, that's that's how you do it. Malik Mack's probably really, really good. On the flip side, I am massively skeptical of Maryland. I have been all offseason, and I still am. Um if, if Jay Neps really didn't play, I don't care what the drill was here. You should beat him if you're Maryland. And the buzz that did come out of this was that Malik Mack and Derek Queen were the two best players on the floor. And that's obviously good news for Maryland. You want your freshman center to be a stud. You want him to ideally be better than Julian Reese. But, man, if Derek Queen was awesome and you lost to a Jay Epsless Georgetown, something's broken with your team still. There, there were no Jacoby Gillespie mentions from what I've heard. You still have massive shooting issues if Derek Queen is on the court with Julian Reese. So, uh, yeah, I, I am selling all the stock that I had left, which was very little of Maryland basketball right now. Yeah, I mean, especially like you said, they lost a game without Jaden Nevs. We don't know who they played, obviously, but I don't I don't know how much it matters. Like it, it sounds like truly saying that they got rolled like it wasn't even close. Um, truly just posted a new box score. What do we got? Dude. Uh, so as of five minutes ago, which by the way, I just want to say, I'm hoping this game was played yesterday because if Villanova and Penn state made their players wake up at about seven in the morning to play a scrimmage, both those coaches are nuts. Uh, Villanova beat Penn state 75 to 70. Eric Dixon had 38 points, 18 free throws in a scrimmage, 18 free throws in a scrimmage in 26 minutes. They only won by five. This is the 20th best team in the country right now, according to Ken Palm. Ace Baldwin didn't play. <laughs> Fill it over by five. No Ace Baldwin. Yeah, give me all of that. Feed it, <laughs> feed it to me. Let's go. You needed 38 from Eric Dixon to beat Penn State by five without Ace Baldwin. Good Lord. Uh, Yannick Frederick Niederhauser. Yeah, that's a real guy, Dion. Yannick Frederick Niederhauser, 14 and nine for Penn State. Uh, I, I do want to say this. I'm dangerously close to being on the Penn State bandwagon. <laughs> like if they got a center named Yannick Frederick Niederhauser, and Ace Baldwin's really good. Nobody thinks this team can do anything, man. I love it. Yannick is such a secret, secret scrimmage guy. Like I'm now on board. You have to recruit three guys in every class that just play in the secret scrimmages. And like you don't get to see them the rest, but you're my secret scrimmage guy. Like that's all you are. <laughs> that's so special. Oh man. Uh don't overreact to secret scrimmages, folks. That's the takeaway here. But if you want to, join the sleepers discord because I'll be doing that for the next three weeks. Football season is here. Money is out there to be had in the form of winning bets. And our friends at my book, you want to make it easy for you to do just that. Yeah, and coming into football season, you're going to have games all weekend happening everywhere. And Gregory, where is the only place that Sleepers Media places all bets? So I can tell you right now, since last February, February 1st to be exact, my bookie is the only place that I have placed a sports bet. I love my bookie. They make it easy. They get you quick payouts. They have awesome promo offers. In fact, card, they've got one right now that football fans everywhere and listeners of this show are going to want to take advantage of. Yeah, using promo code SLEEPERS, that's promo code SLEEPERS, you can take advantage of a 50% instant deposit bonus right now. That's 50% instant deposit bonus up to $1,000 over at MyBookie. Use promo code SLEEPERS and happy betting. Home dogs aren't dogs, they're wolves. Arr
I'm trying to flip that into like sport, like home sports books aren't books, they're novels. We'll work on it. That didn't work. Go my bookie promo code sleepers.